Let's look at how to make a frequency distribution table for a set of data when they tell you the number of classes. For doing the frequency distribution tables, what we want to do is set up uh, spans of numbers that we would have for our data values so that we would get five spans of values and then find out where each of these numbers fit. And then take a tally of that, which will later change to a numerical value. Now to start this, we need to find our class width. And to find our class width, you always take the largest data value. In here, the largest data value is 46. Subtract from it the smallest data value. Here, the smallest data value throughout all of these values is 15. And divide that by the number of classes that the question asked you to compute. And the number of classes here is 5. Now, when we carry out this calculation, 46 subtract 15 is 31 divided by 5, and we get 6.2. But when we're doing the class width, we need it to be the same accuracy as the data values, but to always round up so that we make sure that we have enough span of numbers that all of our data would fit. So rounding 6.2 up, we'll get a class width of 7. Your book will say, often round up, I want you to always round up. So next then, what you want to do is to set up and get your classes. We'll do that in a moment.